I see you've come back for your daily dose of dingo. Well, you can find this and more alliteration over at my Twitch right there. Enjoy the video. Hey, Malo. Good afternoon. Oh, sounds way better. I saw people like tossing Priest of the Forgotten Gods and Dothi into Yogmoth, which I'm kind of interested in. I think it was Caleb D that put Priest of the Forgotten Gods in Yogmoth, and then somebody else put like Dothi in it. Playing Ballista and Yog. It's pretty cool. Because you can court it for zero and then stick it in the graveyard. It's something. We're trying out some Heliod Company with Cauldron. We just finished up playing some Tyvar Druid with Cauldron, and it went really well. I didn't play well, but the deck kind of carried me a little bit. Maybe a lot of it. Kind of scared to register Arbor Elf in modern right now. I feel like Arbor Elf got shot, shadow banned, excuse me. Kind of feels like it should be. Play Spike Feeder or Oriok Champion. I think it's Oriok Champion. I don't think I'm attacking for one either. They're probably just playing Rhinos, but I don't want to run into some nonsense. Yeah, they're just playing Rhinos. I feel like we should have a good Rhinos matchup here. But who knows? Yogmoth doesn't have a good Rhinos matchup in their creature deck. Creature combo. Kind of hoping they just play like Charles Agent. Oh, that's fine. All this does is kill my Arbor Elf. Could be a lot worse. Always yes, always yield is something I cannot do. So I had F6 through the turn, so I'm not planning on fetching here. Oh, Heliod. Yeah, Spike Feeder's infinite life. Nice Rhino's opponent. Wouldn't it be a shame if I gained two life? Always yes, always yield, yes. I don't play Blood Moon anymore. At least stock lists don't play Blood Moon anymore. But Plains versus Forest, I think having the Forest is better so I can collect the company if I draw fourth land. I think it's pretty minimal either way. Flame to deal 5 damage. I'm going to gain infinite life in response. Save targets, always yield. I'm going to go up to like 200. It's perfect music to do this, by the way. Absolutely perfect music. I'm gonna buy beer for a while. Such is the nature of playing Heliod Company on Magic Online. This deck is a lot better in paper.
go up to a thousand. I'm gonna go to like two hundred. you're watching this on youtube feel free to fast forward you're not missing anything <laughs> if you're with me on twitch i apologize they have given up they have realized 64 was too much life Yeah, a turbo feature would be nice. Unfortunately, that's not the life we'd live. Yeah, 62 was fine. 64, that, that was too much. I swear, if they make it up to 64 life, I'm totally gonna give up. They've gotten that comment a few times, and I'm not sure that's true. I just feel like this shirt's so memorable. That when you see it, it seems like I wear it a lot, but I don't actually wear it that often. It's a Happy Chaos shirt, though, from Guilty Gear Strive. And I feel like most of the time, most of the time when I take, like, important pictures, I'm wearing this shirt for some reason. I'm gonna put back here. It might just be the cauldron. It might be like coincidence, because I had the shirt on during the Apex photo, and I had the shirt on when I took the uh, the modern Super League photo. I'll say this with a Monty Hall roulette. Alright, let me find three cards. Twice in a row or 48 hour timeout. Alright, you make the rules. Snapcaster, Merktide, Orcish Bowmaster are going to be your three cards. Yeah, I actually don't own any other shirt. This is my only shirt. Orcish Bowmaster, Snapcaster Mage, Merktad Regent. Hey, Clockwork. Things are going A-OK. -okay. Alright, I've selected my card. These are the two I did not select. Merktide. I'm going to show you Orcish Bowmasters. I did not pick Orcish Bowmasters. So, would you like to keep or would you like to swap? You would like to keep? Well, you'd be correct. I did pick Merktide Regent. Alright, that's one for one. So, you want to do it again? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, same cards. Let's do it again. Finish this turn. All right. I don't own any full foil decks. I don't like foils. I'm saddened that my bowmaster's foil as is. All right. I picked. What would you like to name? Bowmasters, I'll show you a Merktide Regent. I didn't take Merktide this go around. Now, would you like to keep or would you like to swap? You'd like to keep? Well, you're correct. I did pick Bowmasters. Alright, well, you won two in a row, so what would you like? Would you like a sub? <laughs> because that was pretty fucking impressive to win two in a row on a keep. Holy moly. Yes, alright. I'm trying out a cauldron in this build instead of ring. Very impressive. Claps and chat. Didn't I always guess this? <laughs> alright, well I should have gained life in response. That's alright, I'm gifting the sub. I just had to make sure I spelled your name right. 
Hey, go. Thanks for playing. Cauldron. Next time I'll win three in a row. Oh, shit. Three in a row on the keep. Force negation. I don't think I want to attack and do a subtlety here. I'm just going to pass the turn. I think attacking to a subtlety is Doom. Doom incarnate. Chalice saving my life. Should be a 20. Coco. Or Shodo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I just pass. I guess I should have eaten the Lorien revealed out of their graveyard. I guess they have a Merc Tide. Pretty positive they have Force as well. So I want to cast it on their turn, make them tap the three banner for the forest. Then untap and at least have free reign for a turn. Collected company. Well, I will pay for that. I think they're dead. Excuse me. Red guest. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Yeah, it's not good. If that were a forest, I could keep it. I guess I'm going to keep this hand. I'm not going to be happy about it. College has been a lot of fun. I think it's competitive and it's like really fun to play with. Young Agatha. I think the best fits either probably Yogmoth or Scales, but we also 4 1 with Tyvar Druid. And we are 1 0 right now with Heliod. I think there's a lot of potential for the card and a lot of shells that can go in. Any Gris deck, any sort of just like. Spike feeder creature deck. It's usually good in a lot of those. If the if it's a deck with activated abilities on their creatures, consider the following. I've even si seen people try to like shove it into. No, I just lost my cards under my keyboard. Shove it into scam so that way you can use the activated ability of Dothi and Fulminator Mage, which is actually super awesome as well. Doesn't seem very good to me in scam, but maybe it is. Well, that was the worst possible thing that could have happened. Dash the Ragavan into eat your Utopia Sprawl. And to pop your Haywire Bite for free. It's all coming together. We're fucked, pretty much. Are we on the play or the draw? I think we're on the draw, right? This hand wasn't a completely terrible keep. We were never drawing land. I want force. I feel like that might be overboarding. I probably don't need force. Let's drop like one of each of these. Warden of the Taxes. Standing in the sideboard. 
These Horizon canopies have been really bad. Like this hand would be keepable if this wasn't a Horizon canopy. This hand's also really bad. Hmm. Not happy to keep this. I think I'm putting back this Haywire Might. Sorry, Haywire Might. As much as I wanted to path you. All these Horizon Canopies come at a real cost, huh? Just can't really play them with Arbor Elf. Kinda killing the vibe. Oh, I'm not pathing that instead. You like the answers, probably. All right, opponent. Don't kill my coal. Kill my cauldron. And let me top deck a land. And peace, good thing for the six months. What up? I kind of name green with this. I'm green, da ba D, I'm gonna die. Tap land, it's too late. This is essentially a tap land. I appreciate the six month skip. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Come on, Teferi. Come on, Teferi. Why you do me like that? Angie. It should be a habit at this point just to start eating their lands with Cauldron. For Ren and Six. That was a good draw. I don't have Leyline Binding either. I'm pretty sure they would have fired off the Binding on the Heliod. Not yet. I'm dead to Bolt plus Tribal Flames. That's the deck they're playing. I don't know. They had Ren and Six though, so they might not be playing Zoo. They're just playing some like weird five color mid range. Air asunder. Oof. Bye, Heliod. Maybe I should have led on Spike Feeder. I feel like Spike Feeder was more likely to die. I should have eaten one of the lands. I don't think it matters. I think we're just dead. Play Spike Feeder. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pack it in. Could make it a 4-4. Four, four. It's not going to matter. Brutal Mulligans. King Cahoots. I think Merc is good right now. If you manage to play very, very cautiously around Bowmaster. But I also think ever since Bowmaster got printed, the difficulty of Merc went up tenfold. Because now timing your spells is even more important and frustrating and feels bad. Thank you for the prime welcome back for the two months. I appreciate the continued support. It means a lot. Oh, that Raghavan's so, so screwed. Steel Cauldron end up 2-3, I believe. I really like the synergy between Emery and Cauldron, but I felt most of the other affinity pieces were like, kind of clunky.
So it was like good and bad at the same time. I should have played these in that order. I missed a life. Minus one HP feels bad, man. Yeah, Raghavan's never connecting. I believe it's on the Magic Online YouTube. Magic the Gathering Online. Uh, oh, man. They have their own, like, YouTube channel. It's like official MTGO. Is that it? I can't find their fucking channel. <laughs> this is a disaster. They made like a new YouTube and Twitch specifically for the Modern Super League. Now I can't find it. I want to draw a card here. They also made their own. They did it on Anz's channel, plus they made their own like Twitch channel. I think getting both in the face here is not too big of an issue. Let me find the tweet. I got you. As soon as I can find it, I'll link it. So we were supposed to help them promote it. And I feel like we failed on that aspect. If I can't remember what the fucking YouTube channel is called. Oh, there it is. Official Magic Online. That was their Twitch channel they put it on. There you go. How oh, you found it on Anza's channel? That works too. I found it though. It was a Twitch channel called Official Magic Online. I thought they posted it on YouTube too. Official Magic Online. Aha! Official Magic Online. Week 1, Match 1. They'll have like 20 views. Hey, go subscribe to Official Magic Online chat. A well, scam should be like a buy here, right? I don't know why we need all these Veil of Summers in the sideboard. I feel like this is just overkill. But I'm not going to complain. I just have you have a trophy in the thumbnail. They asked us for pictures. And we could just submit whatever. So I guess he submitted that. Probably just trimming on all the Arbor Elves in this matchup. Arbor Elf seems bad. Maybe Arwen's better than this one Conclave Mentor. Arwen being indestructible seems decent. I wouldn't actually know what they asked us to submit. Because Will sent me the wrong form. <laughs> so I had no idea. Sent me like a completely different form than he sent everybody else. And he kept asking me, he's like, why don't you fill out the form? And I'm like, what form? You sent me a document with like two lines of text in it. Yep, yeah, takes the endurance, probably takes Utopia Sprawl. Sweet Bale of Summer I got here. Yeah, no kidding. Sweet Veil. What's this song from? Is this Earthbound? I 
think I'm going to cycle this. Except Norwegian. Smells pretty good here. Can't cast anything this turn though. Put this on white past the turn. Can't decide on your four color list, neither can I. There's been a lot of four color lists coming out and they all look vastly different. Ghibli film, makes sense. Checks out. Possible I need to play Ranger Captain here and just like try to double block this grief. Did the Bone Master. Nothing mattered. Yeah, the, the like 90 card monstrosity. I did not like it. I played it in the prelim yesterday and I ended up like 1-3. I was just like, I can't. I played against Burn. I was like, I can't find Omnath because my deck is 75 cards. And then I would like bring in sideboard cards like Chalice. And I was just like, I can't find Chalice because my deck is 75 cards. <laughs> it just felt like it was filled with a lot of air and nonsense in it. I mean, this is fine. They're just going to grief both of my Oriok champions away and then I'll lose anyways. Right out of the time of the mirror. Sounds about right. The Beanstalk mirror is miserable. But yeah, I don't think I'd play over 60. My opponent said, sorry peeing. It must have taken us into the bathroom with them. Maybe on a laptop. <laughs> Glad to know that we're important enough to be taken with. How sweet of them. Hey, don't be sorry. Be proud. Yeah, I got two Oriok champions. Which one would you like to take? You're 63. Actually works out. I can play the song through this YouTube link. Oh, it crashed. There we go. Took my ballista. Makes sense. Durance is a pretty good draw, too. Could also just mean that they can't deal with these. Just trying to stop me from comboing, and maybe just trying to race me with Dothi instead. Not sure. Could mean a lot of things. I think I'm sending in the two here. Sorry, not work friendly uh, music. Oh, yeah, they're trying to uh, race it for sure. At one of these. Yeah, my bad. Apologies, apologies, I'm sorry. Each of these endurances gave me two life, so I think just racing with the endurances is probably going to be better. I didn't yield to one of these. I don't know which one it is.
table. All right, they conceded. I'll keep this. Give it a shot. Seven was the same as your four. We're playing in scam again. Let's get to drop another Oriok champion in play. Whoopsies, dropped my Oriok champion. Yep, it's scam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do. I still want to get the cauldron down. Oh, that's an issue. That's a big issue. I did not play around the mate the game one Blood Moon. Most of these scam lists have been moving Blood Moon to the sideboard. I could have played around that though if I would use that first fetch to get a forest. I need to find a forest so I can besiege you this. But dashing Rogvon, I gotta hold back the Oriok champion also. So Cyborg card that's amazing versus Scam and Rhinos and Grixis colors. Uh I don't think both necessarily. Pretty different decks. Three hours since your birthday. Happy birthday. I get to gain two life. I can eat the Arbor Elf. Man, this Blood Moon is going to destroy me. Oh, Rex Rhinos. Uh, Chalice is pretty good. Bluster Storm's fine. Spell Pierce is decent. Commandeer is good. The next Super League is on Wednesday. Tomorrow. I won't be in the next Super League until like two weeks, two or three weeks from now. I guess I'll turn my Oriok champion into an elf. A lot of mountains. I don't know if anything would make disrupting shield broken, to be honest. Is this a good game plan from the opponent? I feel like it's almost hurting them by like sacrificing this bowmaster here and then putting my thing up to a 3 3. Now I can block a Fury and trade for it. Probably was not in my opponent's best interest, although they can dash a Ragavan. Put me up to 14. I'm going to let them connect with the Ragavan, of course. So I need to kill one of these Furies.
Nah, Agar Bolus is pretty bad. Down to four. I wish you were in the graveyard. Should I activate it on that Fury? It doesn't matter, they got me. Brutal Bloodbone. I could have played around it too, and I just didn't think about it because a lot of these scam lists have been moving Bloodbone to the sideboard. I take out last time all the Conclave Mentors, and then I trimmed. And the Elves, right? Because of Bowmaster. I brought in the Veils, and I took out one other card, and I think it was this. I don't think I'd play Hall of the Storm Giants in a 20 land deck. Seems too unreliable. And like you're really never going to activate it. Business, thank you for the tier 1. Welcome back for the 9. I appreciate it. I also can't recommend Dreadbor. Play Shieldred's Edict instead. I think you'll have a better time with Shieldred's Edict. Oh, the Veil drew me a Veil. Combo deck. I feel like you need the potential to like two for one a Thoughtseize deck with a card like Collected Company. But I mean, I'm getting all the two for ones in the world with this veil, so <laughs> maybe not. And Brezzy, thank you for the Prime. Welcome back for three months. I'm back, baby. Welcome back, Brezzy. This is fine. Just planning on casting Collect the Company here. Although, maybe casting a Warrior Champion wouldn't be so bad either. I do. Hit nineteen ninety four movie Double Dragon. Oriak. Heliod. I'd have a Heliod in my hand, but getting one to play seems good too. A Warrior Champion dies to Bowmaster. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it doesn't. Always yes, yes. Gonna count on this one next. Grow, my children, grow! <laughs> You will be big, strong champions. I probably should have played the Cauldron also. Alright, well, time to get double griefed and die. 
Can't hold a Veil of Summer on turn one on the draw, unfortunately. I wish. Alas, it's not the timeline we live in. I don't think his hand does enough. Goon, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate you, buddy. This is what I'm going to keep, I guess. They didn't scam me. They're going to blood moon me. I'm going to lose. Hmm. Hmm. Not looking good. If they blood moon me anyways. I do about this versus Abzan. Uh, I kind of like the Abzan Tybar deck a little bit better. But both of them feel fine so far. I just die to these Dothies. Like, kind of concerning, right? I think I'm going to try to take minimal damage, so I'm going to play this out. I could get a Ballista here. Heliod or Ranger Captain? Play the Heliod. I think I'm going to play the Heliod. Hold this back on defense past the turn. The next I can go Ranger Captain, get Ballista, and maybe combo kill them, depending on... What they got going on over there? They like tap out for Fable and they just die. Also just sack Ranger Captain, probably guarantee that it goes through. Although, I guess stops by Bowmaster. Could also put this on Heliod and then attack with Heliod and give him is it another target creature. Never mind. It's another target creature. I think they have bow. I just play this as a two two. I have Lightning Bolt. That actually would have killed me, huh? Yuri. Or damage here. The only positive about this is I can give Oriok Champion lifelink and potentially race. Potentially. And the only real way of getting rid of this is like engineered explosives on two, and if they EE on two, they're gonna lose their Dothies as well. Yikes. That was a whole lot of nothing. Back to being dead to Lightning Bolt. I 
Honestly, it was probably smart of them not to flash in Bowmaster if they did have it, because that would have gained me two life and then two counters. I guess it would have been net neutral. Maybe casting Ranger Captain. So this can get them a Ragabon if they still have Ragabon in their deck. Why not? Let me see. Oh, you're right, I don't. Let me change that. There you go. Oh, not like I have anything worth anything in my, in my head anyways, so this is fine. Is there a reason you are playing plus one, plus one counters on your Utopia Sprawl? Hold up, I think Bob's cooking. He might be onto something. So I can actually eat my own Utopia Sprawl after I give this thing lifelink and just gain so much life. Is that necessary? Probably not. Is it cool? Kinda. I guess I don't gain life because of the Dothy, that's right. No, you're right. Great call. I'm swinging. You're right. You're right. This other Dothy to go away. I'm just dead to bull, period. Still. Another ranger captain. I didn't even see what they got off their first ranger captain. I don't think they have Ragavan on their deck anymore. Yeah, they don't even have Ragavan on their deck anymore. They decided that out. I probably would have done the same thing too. Yeah, right. Spike Peter off the top. I think they should be good enough. I'm going to terminate it. I'm going to float this. Eat this. Into life. Trigger. Put another counter here. So I don't lose to a bow master. And then gain infinite life. Is this deck fun? It's not as fun on Magic Online as it would be in paper. That's for sure. Is this Professor Layton? Oh, this is Chrono Trigger. This is not Professor Layton. Bidding music nonetheless. I don't know if it's been like the worst cauldron deck or we just haven't drawn cauldron. So I feel like a lot oftentimes we just haven't drawn a cauldron yet. I'm up to like a hundred.
That's true, I could have stopped at 60 and then swung with a 9-9. Nine -nine. It's genius. It's gonna go to 100. Yeah, you can play Reconstruction over Collected Company. You can hit Cauldron off of that, right? Because I believe it's any permanent. I could have put more counters on the Oriok champion, but whatever. I'm at 108. Made me click through 100 life for one draw step. Alright, prediction. This is a keeper. Hands good. Chad, what do you want to play for our last league of the day? Got time for one more. What are we thinking? Yogg. I was thinking maybe Scales or Yogg would be a good way to round out Cauldron Day. We could play the Yogg deck with Priest of the Forgotten Gods in it. Grixis. I was going to play Grixis in the Barra's prelim again, because I'm addicted to Grixis. I'll make a poll and see what you guys want. But today's going to be like Cauldron Day, I think. Beans. Gildred Gristlebrand, Borborygmos, Asmogorios Cauldron. Excuse me? I'm just going to take a wire mine. Looks like they're playing Hammer. Spike played it earlier. Spike. I can just do this in the Haywire Mind Pass. Had to be a hater. I'll remember this. Even if it is completely understandable. They've just been holding up one mana the entire game. I don't know if it's because they have Spell Pierce or if they have, like, Surge. But they're holding on to this one mana for dear life. Alright, I'll put that on the pole. <laughs> I might as well put it on the pole. I don't want to go about this turn. I'm just playing Conclave Mentor. And just like passing. I do want to hold up this Haywire Might for the rest of the time. The attack's not super productive because they can just block and give protection. I guess I could have sent him with Haywire Might also. I'm not sure that's great though. I'll put this Borborygmos, Gristlebrand, Shieldred, Cauldron deck on the pull as well. Just in case it gets enough votes. Another hammer. I'll start the, I'll start the pull in a little bit. After this match is over, take like two minutes to get up and stretch, and I'll put the pole up. Yeah, that's a problem. 
I can't beat that, can I? I guess I can... Sack Ranger Captain. I can violin one hammer here. I oh, didn't put one in the play. Now they put one in the play with the Stoneforge Mystic. If we play Heliod in a play, I could have infinite life, but I'm still dead to the Sync Moth Nexus. If I put Ballista in the play, it would be a 3 3. I actually think I'm down for Ballista. I could play two. Yeah, let's play two. Three, three Ballistas. Only one mod does like pull and prediction stuff. I don't think they're here right now. It's magical. <laughs> None of my other bots care enough to do it, and that's fine. They just want the shiny sword next to their name, which is understandable. I can take care of it. For the most part. I want Chalice. I don't think I want Chalice here. Seems like overkill. I could probably trim down a couple of Oriok champions though. They're not at their best in this matchup. I just got rid of all of them. Yeah, let's get rid of all of them. I don't think Cauldron's done anything in this list. I think that a large part of that is attrition to the fact that I haven't drawn it really. And the hands where I did draw it, I had to mulligan because I had so few lands. Minus two company. Yeah, I can see that. But company's a green card, so I don't want to cut too many of them. So I'm going to just cut one company. It's a green card to pitch to force. And I want to have like a high volume of green cards in here. We have two companies in our opening hand. I think I'm gonna mulligan this. Oh, we have Cauldron. I'll turn one there's a saga, huh? Bold move. Is that a good draw? I feel like that may have been an okay draw. You have Surge. Oh, we're going to march my elf. Yep, yeah, that's fine. They have no land. Hmm, no land? Does that count as a cauldron win? I don't know if that counts as a cauldron win. I feel like that was an I don't have any lands win. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Was that a cauldron win? We resolved cauldron and then gave up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, but at least I had like a cauldron trigger on the stack. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Did we use Cauldron? No. Did we resolve a Cauldron and win the game? I'm going to go ahead and just give it to the Believers on this one. Sorry, Cauldron people. 
<laughs> Although it is funny. Crack these five chests. Oh, a chalice. Ranger Captain. I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to judge there. If that was a chalice win or not. Because technically they had no reason to scoop to specifically the chalice. Or the cauldron, rather. My bad. I've been saying chalice instead of cauldron. Alright. Yeah, chalice was a good pickup. Open a chalice, start saying chalice. Okay, let's do the pull now. What's the last cauldron deck of the Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>